Hey, this is Nick, and today we're going to talk about the most powerful tool in Lightroom. Let's jump over to the computer here. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom, and of course, when I say the most powerful tool, I mean the adjustment brush. The adjustment brush is this little wand guy over here, and you can do absolutely everything with this brush, for the most part. The cool part about, or the good part about using this uh, adjustment brush is that it only affects the area that you want it to affect. That way, if you're applying sharpening or clarity or anything like that, it's not going to affect the rest of the image, and it's not going to create all the weird artifacts that sometimes those can use. So let's go ahead and edit this photo, and I'm going to try to do it entirely with the adjustment brush, with the exception of my white balance. I'm going to come in here and fix that. I'm going to get rid of a couple of these dust spots that I see. Bam, bam. There's a couple more, but we won't go too overboard with that. The rest I'm entirely going to do with my adjustment brush. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to brighten up this foreground here. It's like, oh. okay, so I should say you can reset your settings on the adjustment brush just by double clicking the effect word over here where it says effect you double click that it resets all your settings so now on this particular brush I'm going to be boosting the shadows because there's a lot of them so I'm gonna go through here and just brush over the parts that I want brightened and then I'm gonna click new and I'm going to create a whole bunch of different brushes for this image um, I find that it's best to just you know, do do everything a little bit at a time. So now I'm going to add some sharpening and a little bit of clarity to the foreground. I want it to be nice and crisp. Not crispy, not crunchy, but crisp. You want it to look very in focus. I'll brush it on the lighthouse here. This is Hasita Head Lighthouse on the Oregon coast. Awesome, awesome place if you ever get a chance to visit it. All right, going to make a new brush here. Now, with the sky, I'm going to decrease some of the highlights, increase the shadows a bit. I'm going to increase the contrast, because that's going to bring out some saturation. And I'm also going to bring up the saturation. Now, the reason, the reason I'm upping the shadows and increasing the contrast is if I didn't up the shadows, if I didn't increase the shadows here, um, it would essentially just make some super dark clouds and anywhere that I brushed over this lighthouse on accident it would make it way dark by increasing this contrast so I'm uh, kind of counteracting that by brushing in some shadows I'm going to try to avoid the lighthouse that just brings a little bit more drama into this guy make sure that I'm brushing over here you can quickly increase if you're on PC um, I can't speak for Mac users, but uh, if you're on a PC, you can qu quickly increase and decrease the size of your brush with the wheel on your mouse. I'm going to click a new, new adjustment brush. I'm going to even play with the colors a bit. I'm going to increase the blues a tiny bit and just brush over the spots that are already blue in the sky. And that's just going to really make those even more vivid. Now I'm going to create another brush. I'm going to do the same thing with the greens. Um, anytime that you're trying to green something up, uh, obviously take this to the green, but also take this over to the yellow just a bit. And when I brush over, it's just going to make those colors a little bit more vivid and pop. And you can kind of, uh, kind of dodge and burn using this as well. We'll do another one, and on this one, I'm just going to increase the exposure a little bit, a little bit of clarity, and now I'm going to brush over the parts of the image that I want to really stand out. I'm going to try to add a little bit of, a little bit of something, something, a little something, something on these areas. Anytime that you say I actually brushed over some spots that I don't want to brush if you uh, hit your H key it shows you all your pins and then when I hover over it it shows me everywhere I brushed 
you can see that I brushed into the sky a bit more than I want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my Alt key and notice that changes to a, a minus, minus sign instead of plus. So now when I paint while holding the Alt key, I'm removing what I painted. Over here you have your flow, feather, and size. 100% uh, obviously is like when I brush over something, it's going to completely just take it away 100%. And notice these settings change over here to on the right. They change whether I'm hitting the Alt key or the Plus key because they can have their own settings. So while holding the Alt key, I'm going to hit uh, move this over to 100. That way I can brush it all out in one stroke. And then I'll brush back in where I took it away. So I'm going to do several more of these. I'm going to increase the exposure a bit, shadows a bit. Maybe a little saturation, and uh, whoops, I accidentally switched over to a new, a new, new key. So I made a new one. Increase the exposure, increase the clarity, increase the saturation. I'm going to paint over my foreground with this. You can get really unrealistic really quick. Anytime that you apply an effect that is like over the top too much it's like starting to look kind of phony like this is you can always dial it back and change your settings so like I've obviously added too much exposure so I'm gonna just drop it down just a bit it's better to be subtle and do a little bit at once now I'm going to add a little bit of glow back in here where the Sun was rising the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to increase my yellows quite a bit, magentas almost as much, a little bit of exposure, and then boost the shadows, decrease the clarity. That way it's going to add kind of a glowy kind of thing. I'm going to make my brush really huge, and voila, adds a lot of that amber kind of warm color up in here. And notice it's spilling over onto this lighthouse, and that's that's kind of what helps helps sell the effect is that it's spilling over into the trees. By decreasing the clarity, it makes it look a little bit misty. Increasing the shadows, um, it makes sure that it spills over into that, and it gives it more of a misty kind of feel. I can even do the same thing by decreasing the clarity, increasing the shadows decreasing the contrast and upping the exposure just a little bit and I could paint this onto these back back mountains and suddenly they're more misty yay yay for mist so there we go this is getting close to where I want it to be um, yeah I don't know what else would I would do with this image maybe I'd come back here you know what just for the sake of argument I'll add contrast with an adjustment brush. For the whole image, I'll make my brush really large. And I'll paint over the whole image just to prove that I can. And there we are. That's that's probably what I would end up with. We'll do a quick before and after. We'll go reset. And we went from this to that. And I would say that's pretty cool. So the adjustment brush is the single most powerful tool in all of Lightroom. You can do so much with it. Same is true for people pictures, landscape pictures. It doesn't matter what kind of photo it is. The adjustment brush is going to be your friend. So remember that. The adjustment brush is your friend. So hopefully this has been useful for you. Uh, if you hop on over to nickpagephotography.com, I've got more tutorials, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.